Welcome back everyone to another Marvel Daily Snap video. I'm Gem Machine Esquire, and today we are playing a Galactus Destroy Deck, because that's right, we pulled Galactus in our shop yesterday. Uh, we actually pulled another card in our shop this morning, but we will get to that tomorrow. Stay tuned. Uh, very excited. Uh, but, as most of you know, that the current live location is Lamentus 1, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly sure most of you will know what this is by now, but it is draw three cards to destroy the rest of both players' decks. So with that in mind, we are going to play one of the most annoying decks you can possibly play with this location. It's a deck that has one job, and that is winning exactly one location. And that is with Death, She-Hulk, and Galactus. Maybe throw a Hobgoblin or a Green Goblin in there too, or something else. And the goal is just to completely overpower that one location, and you can play most of the power on turn 6, so you don't even have to worry about a Shang-Chi. Uh, we also have a Gamora, uh, which is a little more susceptible to a Shang-Chi and or a Cosmo. Uh, but just because of the, the location itself, we are running some tech cards, including Thor, Maximus, and Moon Girl, all of which will help replenish our deck, or they don't have a downside. Maximus normally has the downside of making your opponents draw from their deck. If they don't have a deck, it's just a 3-7. Thor puts Mjolnir back in your deck, since you then only have one card in your deck, you're guaranteed to draw Mjolnir the next turn, which is quite powerful. Uh, Wave allows you to play Galactus early, Psylocke allows you to play Galactus early. If we're not... Uh, if we get a super, super high roll, we can Moon Girl and get a death or sh extra She-Hulk. That'll be two deaths or She-Hulks in the Galactus lane, and pretty much, again, guaranteeing us the victory. So that's the plan for today, and we're going to get into game. As always, guys, you have been absolutely killing it. Wow, what happened there? Woo! Like in real life. You've been absolutely killing it with the likes and subscriptions and the comment, and they really do help the channel. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, the more that this channel grows, the more things we're going to be able to add to it, like the intro and outro that we just added. I hope you guys like it. Tell me below, and tell me below what you're running in Lamentia, because I'd love to know, because this is one of the more unique locations. All right, guys, we're going to get back to game one. There was no Lamentia in our first game, so it did not work out. We ran into an Arnim Zola Black Panther who high rolled. He had other cards in the location, but still hit his Black Panther, but we do draw into our Lamentia. We have our death, we have our She-Hulk. We don't have Galactus. And we're running into a Patriot deck, so I feel pretty confident. I'm pretty close to snapping. That, of course, is pretty terrible. We probably will not play for the win here. Uh, I will play... Uh, I think it's better to play... Thor, we'll play him left. And so that is Patriot. And this can be a pretty easy lane to win. And now we just kind of want to fill up the... Ooh, Storm. I'm going to play the Hobgoblin here, actually. So, he's going to get plus two here, right? Which is not going to be enough. I'm going to play... Okay, <laughs> he just retreats. <laughs> Alright, so that's a win. That's not bad. Not the ultimate high roll, but that turn we were going to be able to play She-Hulk, Mjolnir, and Death. I highly doubt he could have won. Uh, but that was a very strong showing. So that's going to be game one, guys. Let's get into game two. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. We've had six games in a row without Lamentia. Really hoping we hit it this game. <laughs> Getting hard to record a video. Draw two cards is an interesting combination with the Lamentia. Because our hand size is full. And we can't play until turn three. Uh, Professor X. Again, kind of an interesting role here. Okay. And there it is. So we will play Thor. I think that is a good play. 
And maybe we can whittle our hand down to get a Moon Girl off? Face the might of Asgard, I'm pretty confident in my ability to win right. Just gonna lock that down. Oh, and he locks down mid. Just fine. And we are going to play that. And we're going to hope that's enough. It's a pretty big power play because we did lose one point on our death, but we gained one point on our Hobgoblin. So I'm feeling pretty good. It's a 20 point play, plus I'm going to win right. So he needs to put 18 power. Good. Or I suppose Cosmo, because he does turn first. Cosmo wins it. By itself. Blizzard. Ooh, and he does reveal first, and he didn't realize that. So that is going to be a loss for him. And when Lamentus comes up, guys, we don't lose those. So that's 2-0 oh for this deck on Lamentus. We're going to try to get another good game. Maybe even get an 8-cuber. Welcome back, everyone. We're back playing, like, I think it's around 30, 31 games. We haven't had a Lamentus game in a while. We're kind of hoping for one, especially this game, because we have every card we want. So if we hit Lamentus, it'll be absolutely huge. If we don't hit Lamentus, we'll be very, very sad. But yeah, we, we've played probably pretty close to 20 or 30 games right now. And we've only hit Lamentus the four or five times. Warrior Falls is an interesting one for us. There it is. Lamentus won. We destroy all of the cards. We get a free death. And we draw into Wave. So we're going to play Wave... Uh, in the Shadowlands, so we get to play Galactus on turn four. We're going to play Galactus to Lamentus. And he plays Red Skull, which is kind of interesting. And I think we can beat it. So I'm going to skip, and then on turn 6, I'm going to play She-Hulk, Gamora, Death. And he's going to give all my cards plus 2. <laughs> See what he does. This could be it, guys. After about 2 hours of stream, well, no, about an hour, 15 minutes of streaming. And we win with Galactus' first Red Skull. He is certainly taking his time. What does he want to do? He has so many choices. So many. Plays Lizard and Killmonger, which is interesting. This is going to be... that's 22. I mean, th this is a big turn. Yeah, I'll snap back. I feel strong. I feel strong here.
so he plays Enchantress. There is no way that is going to be enough. I know why he did it. But it's not going to be enough. And 37 power on that final turn for an 8 cube game. Finally. <laughs> and we hit it. And that is what you can do with Lamentus. Now, I'm not going to lie. This deck isn't great. You can still win with it outside of Lamentus. So I'm not going to say you can't. You can. It's an annoying deck to play against. Especially with Galactus, Death, She-Hulk for the reason you just saw. You can play 37 power on the last turn, which is crazy. But uh, it's not the best deck for climbing. But with Lamentus out there, I hope you guys can abuse this deck list. We'll show it off one more time. Right here. If you guys want to try it out, let me know how it goes for you. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoy Lamentus while it's the featured location. Like and subscribe. Keep snapping.